Buenos dias, 5th, 6th grade. Today is Monday, still, for me. These announcements are for Tuesday the 14th. I just know that my tomorrow morning is pretty hectic already, so I thought I'd get a head start by doing the announcements now. All right, not a lot going on. We do have Future Cheer Clinic. Okay, you can sign up for that. Tomorrow, Wednesday, will be the last day that you can sign up for that. I think it's $30. There's a bunch of posters around. You get a t-shirt, some pom-poms, hang out with the cheerleaders, practice some of their cheers and their dances, maybe get prepared for next year if you're a sixth grader to try out for the cheer squad. Um, so anyway, that's this week. Other announcements are science fair. If you're going to participate in the science fair and you want a display board to, um, to display your science fair project, we have those in the office. They're five dollars. We have 44 of them. Once those 44 are gone, we will not be ordering any others. Okay, those, those ones that we have here now will be the only ones that we sell. We're selling them for $5. Bring the $5, we'll give you a science fair display board, and you're on your way to your science, doing your science project. Let's see. Those are about all the announcements I have. I did have one concern that I wanted to mention about the lunch line. It was brought to my attention that it's not running as smoothly as it ought to. Now, when I taught fourth grade last year, we line up alphabetically and we send everybody to lunch. Now, it's not fair for somebody whose name ends with an A, let's say Aguilar, to be first in line every single day. So after that person is first in line on one day, then that person then becomes the last person in line the next day. And then somebody's name that starts with a B or the next day or however it is alphabetically, they're first in line next. And then the, on the next day, they would go to the back of the line and we keep rotating through that way. Um, if you bring your own lunch, I'm okay with you standing in line with your friend, but that doesn't change the order of anything. It just, you can stand in line and wait for them to get their lunch so that you can sit together. That's okay. But when what's happening is we're getting to the, to the gym doors, you're entering the gym doors, then all sorts of madness is breaking out. People are saving places for their friend to come move up and people are saying, I didn't know that's where I wasn't supposed to be. If you've been in our school before this year, it's been this way since the first grade. And I know for sure it was this way last year for fourth graders. I know it was this way two years ago for the fourth graders then. So sixth and fifth grade, you guys know that you stand in line in alphabetical order and the first person becomes the last person and you just slowly rotate up until it's your turn to be first. Now, if you're sick on the day that you were supposed to be first, it's just kind of bad luck that you were uh, sick on that day. Okay? You just lose your opportunity. That person that would have been behind you is now first in line. And then the next day, they will go back to the back line. They don't get two chances to be first. Um, anyway, it's something we've been doing for years. You should know how to do it. I don't expect problems. And I hope that you take care of those. Those are all the announcements that I have. We'll turn the time over to your teachers for the Pledge of Allegiance. See you in the house. Adios.